Good evening, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and tonight I'm here with uh, Kayla and Ilesma and Shamain and Kimi. It's all women today. So, woohoo, go women. Uh, so, uh, um, last week I went in a little tumble uh, with the, the car. Uh, and so today, uh, I'm not going to prophesy, but I want to welcome you guys and just say I love all of you. So I thought I'll, I'll welcome all of you and then uh, Kayla and everyone will, will minister to you. So please write your name in the comments uh, when they prophesy. <clears throat> uh, it's important for them to, to, to listen to the Holy Spirit and to make sure that they don't speak a word of judgment, but a word that builds people up. And that's for us in the body of Christ. You know, uh, before Jesus came in the Old Testament, you'll read all those prophets. It's just gloom and doom and judgment and the ink and all of that stuff. Um, uh, but after Jesus came, the message is there's life, there's healing. Things are going to go better. God has a plan for your life. You don't have to fear. Uh, and and that, is, that is the good news of the Lord Jesus. Jesus is a good king and he brings good stuff. So that's why even when we, we talk about the revelation and the end times and all of that stuff, I don't really like any of those messages that talk about how bad it's going to be. Um, I like the messages that says, no, Jesus is in charge and he's going to do a good job. And he is, and he is in charge and he is, and he's going to bring life to us. And we are his, his children that will bring life. So I'm just giving you a different version of Preferi Protocol tonight. But that's why Preferi Protocol is always to lift people up. And so if you write your name in the comments, you don't have to fear and think, okay, they're going to speak a word of judgment over me. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the Lord, Lord, what's the potential that you have for this person? And that's what they're going to minister. All right. So uh, God bless you uh, as you listen tonight. Uh, so there's, there are four of them. So I'm going to schedule 40 names because I, I always see it works about well if each person ministered to one person. So I'm going to go through the list and people that haven't come, come on a lot, I'll probably... Put their names on first and then if there's space left i'll put the names of people that come regularly uh, i really believe it's necessary for every human being that are christian to get at least one prophetic word once a month because i think that's good for you uh, i don't actually think it's very good for you to get a word two times a week because then instead of having a personal relationship with jesus and talking to him you rely on other people to hear from you so that's why for me, if, if I see a person comes on every week, I'll sometimes skip them. Not because I don't love them. I just think it's, it's also necessary for them to really work on building a personal relationship with the Lord. Okay. I love each one of you. You guys are amazing. I will uh, look better in a week. God bless you. <laughs> okay, so the first word is for Angela Parker. Um, when I started praying for you, I see how uh, you just sat and you really... you just quiet your heart so much and you just how you started like seeing God and hearing God and everything and it's like the chirping of the birds became so much clear clearer and I see how as you slow down how you just really you see God in everything and then I also see like an old rusty coin but I see how that coin um, is being cleaned and it's being cleaned carefully to make sure that it is not damaged God bless you thank you Lord um, um Renal, I was busy on the bed. Next one is for Renal. Um, Renal, I see that there's like uh, you are in this beautiful garden, and then I see how you step on these big mushrooms and you step over it and over it. And as you lift your foot, the mushroom breaks. And as you lift your foot, the mushroom breaks. But every time when you step forward, there is a place for you to step. And I see this is how God is just, he is, he is taking your feet and He's placing you where you are needed. But He doesn't want you to stay in one place too long because because then it almost gets um, bad for you. He wants you to move. So you are in a season where he wants you to move forward, where he wants you to almost like um, download things, then you go forward, where you um, you know give your testimony and you go forward, where you preach to people and you go forward. So God is going to um, um, you know, tell you exactly where to go and how to do it, and he's going to strengthen you in this journey. Be blessed. 
Our next word is for Davis. Simon, when I started to pray for you, I just saw like an hourglass. And I saw like this hourglass, the, the sand has almost finished running out. It's like all the sand is almost finished. And I just, when I asked the Lord about it, it's like, um, I got like God is saying that you're going into a new season. The old season is gone and you're going into a new season. But I felt like how God is saying that he's going to equip you in this new season. Um, I see like a, bunch of doors and but I see like the doors are not yet open but God is saying when you trust in me when you have faith in me and when you listen to my voice and you stay in the same frequency than me I'll align you and I'll tell you when the the right time is the, is to enter through those doors be blessed Amen, Davis, please leave us a comment. This next word is from Marvin. Marvin, the Lord shows me how he is coming to, to stabilize you, to give you support, like, like a neck that is, that is rolling and that, that, that needs support. The Lord shows me how he is holding you up to, to see, to not, to not look down with your eyes or look to the side, but he is holding you to keep you straight. But the Lord shows me how, how do not resist this, this fatherly help, this fatherly hand that he is placing on you because if you start to resist then I see how those hands they do, they don't lift but they're just not as 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 firmly on because you are because the Lord shows me how you how you must say Lord hold me hold me firmly hold me tight and and I won't resist to to your to your way to your leading to your guidance <coughs> and the Lord shows me how how everything goes so not not necessarily <coughs> easier but you can face things knowing that the Lord is with you and that you can hear clearly from the Lord and that you that you operate with him. Be blessed. <coughs> sure, I just got a fight at the mic shadow. <laughs> okay, the next word is for Christopher. Christopher, um, I saw like a, a farrier and I don't know, so a farrier is someone that does a horse's hooves. Um, and I see how the farrier is taking this horseshoe and how he is just making sure that this horseshoe fits the horse perfectly. And I see how um, when it doesn't fit right, he puts it back into the fire and how he's just molding that to make sure that it fits perfectly so that the horse is comfortable and is able to do what it is supposed to do to the best of its ability. God shows me how his words are strengthening you and encouraging you. And I see how um, you really take scripture and how you meditate on it and how it it really just gets rid of all the lies um, that you've been believing. And God shows me how as you lean into him and how as you just be his son, how he will provide for you um, just supernaturally. God bless you. I mean, Elizabeth, I see, I saw a big foot and then, and then this foot is really where, and God says he's going to enlarge your border. He's going to enlarge your, your, your area. And then I see there's lots of people in front of you. I don't know if you're already in ministry, but, but God is going to enlarge the area that you are preaching to and that you are ministering to. And it took me to Yahweh's prayer where it says in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10, Yahweh cried out to the Lord and said, Oh, that you would indeed bless me and enlarge my border, that your hand would be with me and you will keep me from all evil and it does and will not hurt me so and God granted his request so I just speak that blessing over you be blessed our next word is for Anthony Ernest I just saw when I prayed for you how God is pouring out healing oil all over you and I just felt like how a renewing came over you how a restoration came over you and then I felt like how God is saying that you need to renew your mind you need to renew your thoughts I felt like how God shows me like how the things that you're thinking is the things that come to life. And I feel like how God is saying that you only need to think positive things. You only need to think good things of yourself, of your circumstances. And I just feel like how God is saying, take the word of God, take scriptures, declare scriptures of your life, declare scriptures of your family, declare scriptures of your business or your work circumstances and I, of your finances. How, how every time you feel like how something is going negative or something is not working out, for the good, the way that you think it should work out or the plans that you have, just declare scriptures over it and keep on declaring scriptures over it. Every time something negative comes, just take the word of God and declare it over it. Be blessed. Amen. Anthony, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Petronella. Petronella, the Lord shows me um, the verse, uh, Psalm 39, verse 14. I think, <coughs> I'm, I think it is um, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And the Lord is just saying, he is speaking that over you. He is singing it over you. But 
The Lord has also shown me like the power of declaring, how you must declare scripture verbally and, and really, really make a sound that you start to hear it and believe it. And not just from, from outside, but from within, that you, that you know the, this scripture and you believe it like as the, as the seed falling on the ground, that you hear it, you understand it, and you believe it, that it can start to take root in your life. Be blessed. Thank you, Petra. Now, please leave us a comment. The next word is for Mel. Mel, I, I saw a crown being placed on your hoard with, on your hoard, on your head with a lot, with lots of jewelries. <laughs> Stop it. With lots of jewelries. And I also saw an emerald. Um, God's showing me how he's just protecting you. God shows me how his faithfulness, there's a scripture that says his faithfulness is a shield around those who trust in him. Um, God shows me that wherever you go, it's his hand is on you and how it's just blessings flowing and how it's just supernatural favor and how his grace is also just with you wherever you go. I see how he really just like encircles you with his love and how he keeps you close to his heart god shows me how he's making you sensitive to his heartbeats and gonna he's gonna help you discern even more what is pleasing to the father and what is not so god bless you I mean, next word is for Yolandi. Yolandi, I see that you are in a, like a different area and um, there's a screen there and God is in the screen and it's almost like God's hand goes through the screen and He grabs you and He pulls you into His dimension. He pulls you into Him where He is. Um, it's almost like He says that He wants to pull you out of that fear situation. He wants to pull you out of that dark situation so that you can just be with Him and so that He can comfort you and strengthen you. And, and I see how you you are just you are you are willingly you are you go willingly with him and you are have a surrendered heart so keep on praying for this place of surrendering to the lord so that you you know you can be um you know so that you can move with according to the will of the father for your life be blessed our next word is for Joshua. Joshua, just when I prayed for you, I felt like our Father showed me that there's a stretching happening in your circumstances in your life, and I just feel like our when you're like when you're like being stretched, it's like you're like being pulled to your lowest strength. It's like you you need to have extra resources. You need to have extra input of strength or. Or just somebody that can help you. And I feel like our God shows me that when you have intimate time with Him. And when you spend time with Him. And when you ask for His help. That He'll help you with this difficult time. And I just feel like our God shows me in the stretching times. How a gro growth is going to happen. How it feels like it's difficult. But at maybe a month from now. Or a year from now. You'll see the outcome. And then you'll see how much you've grown through the circumstances. I just want to encourage you do not get negative about it or do not feel like it's not gonna end ever when you feel like it becomes too difficult give your load give your burden to god and he'll help you with it be blessed amen i just want to let everyone know that we are recording so this video will be up on the channel and then you can go back and listen to your word so don't worry we know it's we know we know we know we know the the quality is not very good now but if your name is on, you can go back and watch it later. So you're not going to lose your word. Okay. This next word is for Layla. Layla, the Lord shows me how, how there has been like a pushing and a pulling and, and like tug of war. And the Lord is just saying, release it. Release it that you, that you cannot control everything and you cannot control people. But you must, the Lord shows me how, give them to the Lord. Give them to the Father. Your prayers and your declarations have done so much, but right now, give them to the Lord. When, when you yield something that is already the Lord's, then I really see how, how there will be breakthrough. But the Lord is now saying, it's okay, well done, give it to me, and, and, and I, will, I will finish my, 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 my work. Be blessed. Thank you, Layla. Please leave us a comment. The next word is for Ella. Um, Ella, so I saw a picture of you on a horse and you're like in armor and you have like arrows and everything in your um, bag, on your back. And I see how you enter in your prayer closet and how you just start praying. I see how... Um, prayers that you've been praying for long how you just keep on praying that and you're really trusting God for that to happen and God shows me I'm reminded of the scripture where it says um, that the 
the prayer of the righteous is effective. So um, I feel like be encouraged knowing that your prayers aren't just going nowhere. They're reaching God and just keep on pressing in until that breakthrough comes. I also saw that his words are engraved in stone. They cannot be removed. So if God has promised something, it will come to pass um, in his perfect time. And God bless you. Thank you. Next word is for Vicky. Vicky, I feel that God is saying that he is almost like you. He wants to place you um, into his hand, he wants to place you where you are safe. He wants to place you into a secluded place because there are, are people that speaking negative words over you. There's people that's really breaking you down. It's, I don't know if it's family members, but and then I see how God comes while you're in his hand and he just puts all these stamps on you where he says you are worthy, you are beautiful, you are clever, you you are um, kind and you all of those things and, and where he just speaks this into your life and where you are in encouraged and then you climb out of his hand and you go into the world again and, and then you just carry all these promises from the Lord so just go to God and, and see what he says over you see what he says over your life and over your situation and just hold on to that and throw away negative things that the world is putting on you be blessed our next word is for Raymond Brown Raymond God loves you so much I when I prayed for you God showed me like a few people is going to come into your life and there's going to become like business transact transactions or something like that. I saw like a couple of contracts on a table and then I saw like how you were in, uh, having a pen in your hand signing contracts. And I just feel like oh, God shows me a, a hand that's got anointing oil on it. And I saw how you put his hand on those contracts. And I just feel like how oh, God is showing me that I don't know if it's in the business world or whatever you're doing that you're doing business or something like that. I just feel like our God is showing me that it's in that transaction. It's in your everyday dealing, your everyday transactions, your everyday business or something. God is showing me that it's there and is anointing it. Be blessed. Amen. Raymond, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Maritza. The Lord shows me how how you have this oil and then you just start to release it. How you allow the Holy Spirit to work through you and you release, just release this this water. And as you release, you get filled up more. When we when we yield everything to the Lord, He comes in and He gives us everything that we need. It is it is not a it is not a I hope I, I throw this and I hope it sticks. It is it is a wonderful, wonderful relationship. The Lord says start to he says learn to release his presence wherever you go as you are walking even in the streets you just allow this holy spirit river just to start flowing in you and never come to a point where okay i'm here now i can i can just be a normal person and i don't need to be praying the whole time and no, the Lord shows me how this is a mindset that he wants you to have of a release. And he says you will never, ever feel more full than when you release the presence of God. Be blessed. The next word is for Gadlina. Um, when praying for you, I thought of gelatin. And they're just, it's, if I'm not, I don't really bake and things like that. But I'm pretty sure you don't use a lot of gelatin when you, you do something. So I was reminded of the fact that such little gelatin can cause something to be so effective and i thought of the the mustard seed faith um god shows me that sometimes you'll speak words um and they'll be like a small seed in someone's heart but i see how that seed it will be nurtured it will be protected and sometimes that very seed is the thing that will cause a beautiful tree to uproot in someone's heart and god shows me don't underestimate the value of your words and just i feel like he's just reminding you when you speak just lean in speak the father's words over people um but i i almost feel like god is saying speak my child speak and how your words are so valuable um to the father god bless you Thank you. The next word is for Zanel. Zanel, I see how you just look up and it's almost like your whole face starts to shine as the glory of God just, just, just comes over you. And you breathe that in and you breathe Him in and there's so much light. And it's almost like the burdens that is on your shoulders, just, it's like they just go off you and you, you just... 
you can breathe again. So just start, just focus on God. Just look up to Him and see and, and just experience the goodness of the Lord. Just experience His breath over your life right now. Just experience His glory over your life right now so that you can breathe again, so that you can be alive again, and so that your joy can be restored in Jesus' name. Bless you. Uh, next word is for Xavier. Xavier, what I got for you is quite a weird word. I saw like how it started to rain over you. But then while it's raining, I saw how the drops started to turn into ice. And I felt like how because the drops turned into ice, it's not like to hurt, to hurt you or to something like that. So the rain was like a sign of anointing or favor that's being rain over you rained over you and i felt like when it turned into ice you know ice takes a while to melt so it lasts longer mm -hmm. so i felt like our god showed me that you've got anointing on you and you face his favor on you but it's going to last for a very very long time it's not going to just be with your generation or with with you it's going to go on to your to your children and your grandchildren and i just felt like how that anointing is going to flow and it's going to start from you be blessed Hey, Xavier, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Jacques. Jacques, the Lord shows me how you have an anointing for business, but that also, the Lord says that he's that that means there's going to be a lot of work, that you need to, to put the effort in, that you need to work, that you need to tend to the soil that the Lord has given to you. But when when you start, the, the Lord shows me how it will be tough, like with, with, with any business, but it's, you will see how, how the Lord helps it to grow, to expand. But you need to you need to start even even if you are the Lord says continue continue to work continue to to press in and and don't give up because because this is truly something to to own a business and to give people jobs and 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 to help a, your community is such a such an important thing so the Lord says do not fear He is with you and and continue and He's very very proud of you be blessed. Thank you, Jack. Please leave us a comment. The next word is for Amanda. Amanda, I see a target on your back. And um, I feel like sometimes you do, you do things that really upset the enemy. But God shows me how he's kind of like swooping in and covering you. Um, and I hear that no weapon formed against you will prosper. I also see like a healing anointing. And it won't always just be prayer, but I see how you, your kindness, it will, it will also bring healing to people. God shows me how the Holy Spirit is just so tangible um, around you and how you'll people will just stand close to you and they'll feel the Holy Spirit around you because you'll just be so in God and how your relationship with God is really just the most important relationship to you and how that will just bear so much fruit um, not only in your life but the people that encounter you's life. God bless you. I mean, next word is for Daniela. Daniela, um, I don't know if you are in a financial crisis at the moment, but I really feel that God says that he, he wants you to be prosperous in everything. He is just raining blessings over you. And, and, and it's also spiritual blessings where he just, where he speaks revelation over you, where, where you, when you read the word, it's going to pop up and it's going to open up. And, and in that, you are going to feel so blessed. And then I really feel God is going to bless you financially where you don't have to to worry i see how you're sitting in the corner and you're really crying and you're worried and god says do not worry my child i have this and then you go to this white house and and everything is just getting supplied to you so hold on to god he's got a plan and just be faithful to the lord be blessed our next word is for louise louise god loves you so much i just saw how god showed me like this mirror and it's like your mirror that you're looking in it's quite vague uh or what do you call it vague or oh, it's not clear it's like blur blurry or something like that and misty. god shows me yeah it's like misty and god shows me how he comes and he cleans that mirror for you so that you can see yourself the way he sees you i see how god shows me that there's greatness in store for you you've got a great destiny you've got a great blueprint i see how god comes and he gives you boldness and when he gives you boldness it's like you you step out from behind a wall or behind somewhere or somewhere that you were and God, you just start to proclaim the word of God I see how God shows me that for a very long time it was like you were hidden away 
but I felt like how you were hidden away for a season but that season is I feel like how you're going to be exposed now and God is going to start to use you even more I see like how God shows me how he gives you a platform um yeah and I just feel like how God shows me that he opens your mouth so that you start to speak the word of God be blessed Amen. Thank you, everybody, who has been leaving such an um, such amazing comments. Um, keep keep it up because we uh, we love love reading it and like hearing how the Lord is working in your lives. It's it's a it's a wonderful testimony to hear. Okay. Um, this next word is for Peter. Peter, the Lord shows me how how He's just wanting you to to mount up and how you hold on to Him. How He is a pillar. The Lord is your pillar and how you don't need to you don't need to worry the lord shows me how this this he is right in front of you and when you hold on to him and when you don't when you don't let the enemy come in and and take control and and cloud your thoughts but you hold on to the lord that he that you are anchored in him the lord shows me how how there will just be so so much breakthrough you hold on to the lord and you hold on to his word there will be breakthrough in your life be blessed okay our next word is for carolina carolina god loves you so much i just see how god shows me how father shows me that he wants to give you comfort he wants to give you strength i see how god shows me that you've got like a heavy burden on your shoulders but god shows me that he wants you to give that baggage that burden he wants to give it to you i see how god shows me that that he's like i see like a like a truck load of supplies and provision and stuff that you need and i feel like how god shows me that you just need to make your needs known because God already shows me how he's providing for you in every step that you need, everything that you need, how God is showing me how he's providing for you. And then I see like how God shows me that how you're on your knees and you're praying for certain people. And God just shows me that you need to speak love and life into those situations, into those people's life. I see how God shows me that when you deal with people that's like, need the word of God or troublesome or something like that I just feel like our God is saying that when you speak love into the love when you give them love when you saturate it saturate them with like love it they will be saturated with the oil of joy the oil of God's presence there and your anointing will rub off on them be blessed Amen. Caroline, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Carrie. Carrie, the Lord shows me how, how just your senses are increasing, how you are becoming more vigilant in the spirit. The Lord shows me how like your, your hearing, your, your taste, your, 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 your smell, it is all getting increasing that you are leveling up in the, in the Lord says, daughter, this is a new sensation that I am placing on top of you this is going this is this is new and and the lord shows me how how he wants you to to enter in this with with joy knowing that you are stepping up that you are that you are leveling up that you are growing and this is a, something new that the lord is placing on top of you and how the lord shows me how how this will be difficult to start to start like actually like incorporating in in every day but the lord says that it is there and use it and already the Lord shows me how like your smell is like I smell this perfume I smell this fragrance of oh, the Lord starting to enter in and you press into that it's like a like a like a like a dog who's like that way and the Lord shows me how that is what he is giving to you with all of your senses be blessed okay the next word is for Jeremy Jeremy I see um, like you as a as an army like warrior and i see such a great anointing upon your life god shows me i feel like the father is excited about this anointing and how you are really just so concerned with being a faithful steward of that anointing and um god shows me how you encourage other warriors as well as well and i feel like sometimes the people on your team um unfortunately they will turn their back on you and, and like try and hurt you but god shows me how he just like intervenes with his love and how he brings protection for that as well and um so yeah um god bless you i mean next word is for corin corin i feel that it's almost like god is saying he's going to give you a soft landing i see this big area where there's just wool and and 
and and cotton wool and it's soft and and feathers and white 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 things and then i see when you fall you fall on this so god says you need to just endure you need to just have have strength and you need to just endure it's it's just a time of, of really it's like almost like a grinding time and a pressing time and the oil is getting released and you are going to have a soft landing and everything will you know it's almost like everything's going to be okay so hold on to God he, he will protect you and he will protect your family don't worry about your family he will protect your family through all of this because God is with you in Jesus name bless you our next word is for Martinez Fonso I just heard uh it's John 10 verse 10, the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy, but I've come to give you life and life in abundance. I see, when I prayed for you, I see like everything around you, it's sort of like it's, everything just breaks. Uh, the car breaks, the, the buck, uh, the, 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 in the kitchen, the, the cutlery breaks, everything around you just breaks. It's like everything doesn't go smoothly the way it should supposed to be going. And ju I just feel like how oh, that scripture um, God is saying he's giving you life and he's giving you life in abundance and I feel like our God is saying proclaim that abundance proclaim that which I've given you um, do not take the enemy wants to come and steal kill and destroy mm -hmm. speak um, life over your circumstances and do not give the enemy like a hold on your life I feel like our God shows me that that you need to come into alignment with his word when you speak the promises that he's got for you um, you speak that into existence as well. So do not when things seems like it becomes difficult, do not like feed that difficulty or feed that circumstances or feed that spirit. Um, proclaim the word of God, proclaim God's goodness over your life, over your family, over your circumstances, over your business, over your vehicles, over everything and just see how God's goodness is going to happen in your life. And I just feel like our God is saying, when you see my goodness, testify of my goodness to my people. Be blessed. Amen. This next one is for Shandesha. The Lord shows me how he is giving you a sound mind, but the Lord, the Lord also shows me how he is just bringing a frequency to you that will just come in and still the storm and make the waters clear, especially in your, in your, in your sight. The Lord shows me how he is wanting you to see clearly what he is doing and even things around you that is going to make it clear that it's not going to be so foggy because we have direct access to the Lord through Jesus Christ so we can go through G Jesus into the presence of the Father there's there's nothing in between us there it is your prayers are not hitting hitting the ceiling that it is it is it is going to him but the Lord shows me how he's also giving you the heart of the Father that when you pray you are not praying what your will but you are letting the Holy Spirit speak through you and, and there is power when you allow the Holy Spirit's words to come out of you because the Holy Spirit knows exactly what God wants and what He wants to be cleared, what, what, what He wants us to declare on the, on the earth right now. So lean into the Holy Spirit. The Lord is coming and He is giving you new sight. Be blessed. The next one is for um, <coughs> Rieta. Rieta, I don't know if you, you've watched Friends before. I, I wouldn't recommend you to watch Friends because it's not a very godly show. But in the thing, it says, <laughs> I, watched watched it it. I watched it before I gave my heart to Christ. Okay? <laughs> so in the thing, there's a scene where Ross and someone with the couch and they're like, pivot, pivot, pivot. pivot. <laughs> and I'm just reminded of the fact like my, it happened, it was a, like it's an old show, but people my age and even younger, like they know what the pivot thing. But so I feel like God will be doing things in your life that, generations after to come in your family will still be speaking about and i feel like a lot of time your relationship with the father is what will draw the next like it would remind them oh okay of god and like plant a seed in their heart to follow god and also wants a relationship with god um so yeah god bless you thank you god um, <clears throat> um next one is for manuel <laughs> Um, Madeline, I see how you're going up steps and it's almost like the steps are going around so it's up steps and then it's down it's up steps and it's down and then you feel like you're going nowhere you don't feel like you are, are going upwards you don't feel like you go, you're going forwards in your life but you don't see that these steps are actually inclining and it's going up 
and more up as it is going down. And God says that, that you need to see the small details. You need to see the small things in life so that you can almost be grateful for those small things. So that you can see the goodness of God in the small things. Sometimes we, we just want to look at the big things and, and you know the big um, hoorays and the big things. But, but God says look at the small things. Look at the small um, um rewards look at the small um, things that you have overcome so that you can grow out of that so that you can learn from that and so that you can tell look at yourself and say wow you know what i've been there where am i uh, uh, where am i now and it's almost like this is going to be a spiritual growth where god is going to exile you into an area where where you are going to um almost like go into ministry where you are going to um uh, talk to small groups of people and where there's going to be growth be blessed our next word is for Norma, yeah, Norma Gonzalez. Um, God loves you so much. I just felt like when I prayed to you, I felt like our God came and he like took out plugs from your ears. And I just felt like our God opened your spiritual ears. How you'll be easier to hear the word of God or to hear when he speaks to you. And then I see how like God takes like the things from your eyes and he gives you like spiritual focus so that you can see the direction that he wants you to go in. And then I also saw like how God came and he gave you like a map and a map of the direction that he needs you to go in. But I feel like for all of this to come into effect, you need to like every day spend time with God where you like worship, you pray in tongues. And I specifically feel like pray in tongues because I feel like how praying in tongues is going to activate all of these things, all of these gifts that God is going to give you. And I feel like how you need to listen to teachings as well where you just can focus on getting to know how to hear the voice of God, getting to know how to listen and to see into the spirit of the things that God wants to show you. So I feel like our God says this is a training season and he wants you to every day do your homework where you practice and do things like um, where, you can, where you can try to listen to God, ask God a question and try to listen and ask uh, God for an answer or something like that. I feel like our God is saying you need to teach yourself and train yourself to to get the spiritual things. Be blessed. Amen. Norma, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Shang Shang Ming. The Lord shows me how he is he is taking you into a, a place of of receiving. And the Lord shows me how that is going to come through fasting and through prayer when you are so so ready to receive to get full from the lord because sometimes when 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 we are in the world or just receiving from the world like media or friends i've noticed this in myself i just feel so hungry i just feel so hungry because i'm not getting anything i in my in my body in my spirit you're not feeding me in this i need something real i need something that is that is that is fooling and the Lord shows me how that is that is going to only come through him that there is a craving inside of you that is that is not getting satisfied by the world but can only get satisfied and crave more when we when we come to when we come to Jesus so I think go through a stage of fasting but not just fasting from food and not even doesn't even need to be a long time but from from media and and just come into a quiet place to hear and truly receive from the Lord. Be blessed. Uh, the next word is for Johnson. Johnson, I see um, how God is setting your tongue ablaze. And I see how you just, you worship God and you just sing of the goodness of God. And um, I see how this Holy Spirit fire-filled worship, how it just lands on hearts and it ignites hearts to sing of God's goodness and see God's goodness. Then I was also just, um, I heard a song, it's called Arrows. I think it's called Arrows by Bethel. It's what, um, a part of their <coughs> peace album. <coughs> God bless you. I mean, next word is for Jan. Jan, I see how you are sitting with small papers and you are calculating things and you're going through things and there's all these lists and all these lists and it's just making you so anxious. And the Lord says, my child, put that down. And he says, my son, come to me. Mm -hmm. And and you put all of these lists down and, and God is just there and he opens up his arms and you walk into his arms and you just, you start crying and you just give everything to the Lord because you, you know, you're a man and you always, always have to be strong for your mm -hmm. family, always have to be strong for 
everyone around you and God says it is okay to cry, it's okay to come to Him, just lay everything down before Him and just give everything to Him. Give your burdens to Him, give your worries to Him and He will strengthen you in this. When you are weak, God will strengthen you. So just go to the Lord and take everything to Him and be blessed by it. Uh, next word is for Amanda van Niekerk. Amanda, I just felt like when I prayed for you, I felt like uh, it was Mary that came to Jesus and she anointed his feet with the alabaster oil or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. with that yes. oil. And I felt like our God is saying, this is time to release your oil. This is the time to come, and come to Jesus' feet and anoint him. Because I feel like the anointing is going to rub off on you. You're going to receive all the peace, all the joy. Um, everything that that Jesus is proclaiming over you, everything that Jesus got in store for you, the word of God, how God shows me that everything comes over you. I see like how God shows me there's a river coming over you, but I specifically feel like how this river is coming to create like peace inside of you. It's coming to keep, give you joy. I see like how it's like inside of you, it's like you're shaking and you're shivering. And I just feel like how God says, my daughter, I want you to come to me. And when you come to me, I'll release and I'll give you peace and I'll give you my love and my anointing and my comfort. And then you'll feel like how a release come over you. Be blessed. Amen, Amanda, please leave us a comment. Um, to everybody, we are just ministering to 44 people. Today, we were going to do 40. My dad's like, nah, let's do 44. So we're going to do 44. Um, but if you haven't gotten a word tonight, don't go. I really believe that there is something here that you can receive, that you can always receive, because the Lord is not a respecter of persons, that He wants everything for His children. So stay and receive, and the Lord shows me how he is touching you even right now with words from him. Okay, this next word is for Janet Hanna. <laughs> um, yes. Janet Hanna. Janet Hanna. Dead. Yeah. Okay, um, the Lord shows me how you are going to find that there is power when you speak, that there is power in prayer when you put words to, like the sword that is coming out of your mouth, that you, when you, blah, 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 you add power. You don't just think it, but you speak it with authority, just like the, like the Holy Spirit, like Jesus, who is in heaven praying and interceding for you. The Lord says that he is praying for you, my son, and that he has not lifted his voice over you, but he wants you to let that fire inside of you start to stir and release that shout, that prayer of the Lord. Even if you need to go into a, like, like a, a forest and just shout and scream, let the authority roar like that lion that is inside of you and the chains will break, the walls will come down and the walls of the Lord will come up, will build up a strong tower surrounding you. So speak and, and know that he is speaking over you, and that he is praying for you. Even right now, the Lord shows me how he is coming with a shaking into your life. The next word is for Lizette. Um, Lizette, um, God showed me a, a reward of your faithfulness, and I see how. Um, so, sometimes people might look down on you, but though their words aren't the Father's words. I see how the Lord delights in you, and how He's excited about the things you do, and how He. What's tiki dry in English? It's like a. He twirls around you. He twirls around you. And how he's. Um, I see how as he twirls, how it's just like flowers going everywhere and just this pleasing fragrance. And I also see how this is. It's such a powerful dance. And I see how the Holy Spirit's fire just starts like. Swimming. Intertwining with the flowers. And um, yeah, I just see how. And God shows me a gift. You you are such a gift and you have such a gift. Um, and God shows me how he's just placing his hand upon your head. And I see how you're just filled with a fresh um, outpouring of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. 
Amen. Cherise, um, I was experiencing that you are in the, in the cocoon phase and then you, you come out of this and because there's a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit where you just receive more and where you are just so filled with the Holy Spirit and you you turn, you know, in the Spirit, turn into this beautiful butterfly and you've got new colors, you've got new things and, and, and there's just so much more and God is going to give you a, a new spiritual gift, gift that you've been asking Him for. So just be blessed in the season where God is going to bless you and where God is going to love extra on you and be blessed. Our next word is for Annette. Um, I just got, I think it was, was in um, Corinthians that, it's, that it says, I'm not sure if it's Corinthians, but it says that we are all part of the body of Christ. And I feel like how you're not more important if you're like a head or when you're like the leg or when you're like the arm. It's like a unity. The whole body works together. So I really feel like how God shows me that he wants to create a unity. I see like a circle of people standing together and they're holding hands and they're praying. And while praying, I see like a fire starting to erupt. And I just feel like how when holding hands and when doing a corporate prayer together, like in a circle or when when like a, 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 a unity of people where there's like a unity, when do people come and they like united in prayer, united over circumstances, how that fire starts to become bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I just saw like how a shift in the atmosphere um, comes because of that united prayer and because of that not thinking I'm better than that person, but that creating that unity. Be blessed. Amen. This next word is for Bridget. Uh... Bridget, the Lord shows me how, how you are a mother and how you have such that, that loving that loving motherly care about you. But the Lord also shows me how, how you are there to give birth to something new. That you receive from heaven and you release it. And that and, and like that shows me how that is going to come with, with a groaning, with an interceding to release this. When we intercede, we release from from heaven what the Lord has given to us into into the world. We are gateways to be filled and to release the Lord's glory. So the Lord shows me how He has placed something in your heart that He just wants you to start to start to release it. And and it and it I really see how this is it's not even something that it is that everyone needs to know about, but this is between you and God and what He is doing next. Be blessed. Okay. Bridget, please give us a comment. The next word is for Malky. Malky, I see you on something kind of like a, a slip and slide. I don't know if you know what that is. But just having fun, having fun in the water. And I see how Jesus is coming and he's just like your friend and he's having fun with you. Um, God also shows me how in his word, how he's just really going to reveal his heart to you. And you'll help you'll help others see God's heart and maybe sometimes they'll have like a, a misunderstanding of the father's heart but you having encountered the father's heart and really like knowing personally the father's heart how you'll just help them see the truth and how you'll bring so much comfort to them um, as well so yeah God bless you I mean next one is for Carolyn Carolyn I feel that the Lord is saying you need to get out of the boat you need to um, you know, in the boat is always it's, it's that comfort zone, is that place where, you know, we feel, okay, we're fine, we're safe here, but God is standing there on the water and He says, get out of the boat and have faith. Trust in me. You have to take the next step. You have to move forward. You have to take this because I will be with you and everything will be okay. And this will be a growth season for you, but you have to step out of that boat. God is going to um, really uh, help you to grow spiritually. He's going to push you further in ministry. He's going to push you so that you can let his kingdom grow. But you have to make that choice. Are you going to step out of that boat and are you going to trust God with your life? Be blessed. Our next word is for Christina de Toy. Uh, I just got Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. I really feel like how God shows me that your person... That you see a circumstance and you want to take control. You want to say, how am I going to solve this? What am I going to do? And I really feel like our God is saying, give all circumstances. Give everything to me because I will handle it. I feel like our God is saying that when... When, when you give over to Him, when you give the things over to Him, God will show you how He solved the problem. And I just feel like how God shows me how 
I see like a band-aid and I see like how God, there's just such uh, circumstances and I see like how God sticks that band-aid on it, but he sticks it on with love and the whole situation, everything is just controlled with love. And I really feel like how God is saying that release everything and t do not take it on your shoulders. Do not try to solve it on your own, but I feel like that you need to trust God. Give everything to God so that God will be in control of the circumstances, be in control of the person or whatever it is so that God can show you that the outcome, outcome can be good when you trust him and when you give it over to him so that he can solve it. Be blessed. Amen. Uh, this next word is for Luis uh, Santiago. The Lord shows me how how they, that he is coming and... He is just coming to to tend to his to, to his tree to his creation that he is that he is cutting down that he is is building up that he is the potter and he is and he is really molding you and I see how how the Lord is also coming and and taking out roots that have that have not been rooted wisely or well but is being but he is replacing those roots with with new roots and even though roots take a long time to to grow and to develop the lord is just it's just i see how he's giving you new roots new anchors new pillars and i really see it like like a like a family like a spiritual family even like your physical family how it is all going to grow even even more so and the Lord is bringing support, like people to come and pray for you and give you um, advice that he is bringing his support through wonderful people. And you must just be patient and wait on the Lord. And yeah. Am I ending? I don't mind. Yeah, you're ending. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, everybody, so, so much for coming. Um, if you didn't get a word, please come again on Friday, and then you might get a word. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we choose the words, and we choose the people as who hasn't come often or new people. Yes. If you're not, if you're not sure why, go back to the beginning and hear what my dad said. Uh, so we will be back here Friday. I'm not sure what time. What's happening on Friday, Dad? Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> we'll let you know. What? This is of maybe, course. Maybe it will be a recording. It might be a recording we'll, on we'll, Friday. We'll, we'll, this is be prepared for Friday. It'll Some, be. Something will happen on Friday. Something will happen on Friday. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. Be blessed and see you then. Bye bye. <laughs>